There we go. 3.2 went in there. A lot of concrete. There's our materials. Two packs of snowy smooth heritage. Got a pack of fibre lights for the internal wall. Two tonne of building sand. Trench block behind that and commons. There's the big lintels which we'll explain about later. Right, mad dash. I've just been doing a pointing job in old skirt, got the call from Charlie. Bombed up here and um, the sat nav sent them the wrong side of the railway bridge is down there, so they had to go all the way back round, so I've headed back up here quick. Um, so I'm going to get my rake out, get my tamp out and get ready. Set this camera up, ready for getting this concrete poured in. So I'll see you around there. There we go, we've just had a bit of a rain shower, but it's passed over. It's all still set up, it's all cable tied together. Drops down under there, so we've got so the concrete continues, but the concrete's coming up to that nail. So yeah, let's get this camera set up ready for these lads. Well, I'm back at, that was 15 minutes of chaos. And three big lads with three big barrows, as soon as that, as soon as that in, I couldn't keep up with them. It's quite a stiff mix, which is handy because it stops it coming up under the that pipe. But, um, pretty knackered. So, I've got to do that, just clean up after them. And then clean my tools and get back to the pointing. Let's get cleaned up. Hour. 20 minutes to get the concrete in, over an hour to get the bloody drive clean. Ugh. So I'm going to clean my tools, quick tamp, and off back to my other job. And you keep pointing off. Oh, nice and clean anyway. Well, it took a bit longer than I hoped, but it's done. Look how quick it's dried. With this wind. So I'll take you in, show you the finished job. That's all tamped. We're all cleaned up. There we go. 3.2 went in there. A lot of concrete. That shuttering's coming out tomorrow. Yep. When we come back to build it, probably Tuesday. So there you go. Nice white water to work on. Reinforced as well. And tied into the building at each end. That'll be getting filled up that gap. Um, yeah, so we'll see you when we're back then. morning what morning is it yeah it's a good friday morning good friday morning yeah and you're back out back out the house for a day i've been pointing all week so you've been at home all week so this lot is um looks a mess but this is everything we need there's our new rhino stands which will be getting used 
Um, here's our materials. Two packs of Snowy Smooth Heritage, which are the same as the tops. Discontinued bricks, so all this stuff's been done in the snowies, so we're doing the extension in the snowies. Got a pack of fibre lights for the internal wall, two tonne of building sand, trench spot behind that and commons. There's the big lintels, which we'll explain about later. We have all the insulation for the floor, all the insulation for the walls. And here's the finished article from... What day did they do this? Um, Tuesday? I think so, yeah. yeah. So yeah, there's the concrete in. Nice job. Uh, that's coming out, so we can lintel over it. And we've got big lintels to go in the, in there. And in there, so we're spanning across the bad ground. Even though the we've got like two foot of concrete with reinforcing in it, we're still going to span that. Quick question, how's it yeah. going to come out? Take the wedges out. The wedges are underneath as well? They'll just probably just pull out them. If not, we'll just cut the top off. It'll rot away, but it won't do any harm. Like we have to do with our uh, precious first poly spot board. Yeah. So there you go. There's all the floor gear. 125 jab light. There's the cavity closers, spot boards, cement. And we're going for 60mm cavity again because customers asked for that. So there's the insulation for that. So let's get cracking. So, we've just moved one of the big boys, and now... Hang on. This was the bad side, wasn't it? Eh? Hey? This was the really bad ground this end, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's right, we need the three metre ones for this end, and the 2.7s are for that end, so it's in the right place. I thought it wrong place. So, we've moved one of the big boys to three metres, and now we're going to show you how we did it. Here we are. So. Like I set up on the uh, on the barra, and we'll uh, we'll show you how we did it. You want to set that way? <coughs> I think it's best. One, two, three. Oh, that's nice height. That back to me. Let's see if it balances. Right, back to me. Back to me a bit. I hope the uh, camera stabilisation is working well here because the camera's wobbling like hell, a bit like my legs. But it looks hard work, but the, all the weight's on the wheel of the wheelbarrow. All we're doing is pushing it and balancing it. Okay. Got it. Right, you hold it steady.
One, two, three. And that, same move, three bits of concrete lintels between two people. Now, where are they going? I've probably explained this already, but I'll explain it again. You can see here, there's the good ground, and then we got into a load of shit here. Where it's um, the big excavation was for the basement. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock another couple of pockets out of there, send the lintels through onto the house wall, and then they're going to span well past the bad ground onto the good ground. Even though this concrete's in and it's reinforced, it's just a belt and braces exercise. It's, this isn't the sort of thing you want to come back to. So we're just going over the top to make sure it's right. Same again, the, only those lintels are 2.7. We couldn't get three meter, but 2.7 still still long enough. Uh, mesh the concrete as well, so yeah. We're going for extra belt and braces. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, let's get the other two in, and then I can get cracking on the pockets, and then Alison carry on loading out because the, currently the lintels are on top of the bricks. Yeah, I need these moves. Yeah. So yeah, we'll put you back on time. That's for a bit. You don't need to see how these two, next two are done, but we'll see you in a bit. It's um, 10 to 10, and we've uh, made some progress now. Monster lintels are in ready, well, they're in around the back ready. Po pockets are in. Sure, it's a good example to show you how, how the concrete's gone into. Into there, that concrete's over 300, getting on for 450 thick, reinforced, and the reinforcement goes right back to the wall. That's uh, concrete in the cavity, that. Um, yeah, so our pockets are cut out ready. We're going to get the laser level ready to get them set up. We've got two lintels there, two lintels there. They're cut up ready. And again, pockets ready for this one. Yeah, that's um, that's all set up. Alex is all loaded out. Mix after break. Um, tires are, screw tires are drilled in as well to get us to the... So that'll get us up another five courses. Need to get this electric moved, both sides. Right, it is so much nicer than when I was here last. Bloody freezing me ass off. But anyway, bricks are loaded out, lintels are here, blocks are ready, we're ready to go. So, Dad's just finished up this break now, so I thought I'd hop out now and get the mix started. So, I'll get that ready. Hopefully by then he'll be out. So, we've got a battle plan, we've got the weather. We need to get our ass into gear, so I'll get this mix in. Okay, cracking. Cracking out the new kit. Yes. So these were the, uh, if you saw our Instagram, these are what Dad have been uh, polishing the last few days. So you've got, what's yours, Marshalltown? Marshalltown, Duracore candle, which I've never used before, but it's, um, these are Rodian's old ones. Rodian passed these on to us. And then you've got the 10 inch London, the bell of the handle. So we're getting, we're getting used now. So, thank you Rodian. We're going to give these a crack now. So, mix is almost ready. It's doing that thing where it, it tries to stick to the back, so it's putting up a fight. So we'll catch you when it's ready. Right, lines are set up. 
I yeah, just need to plumb the down onto the concrete. Another recent toy that Dad's added to his arsenal is uh, this little square, which um, is great and all, but I suggested that we get this uh, back in 2017, when I more or less just started, and he said no, we never need one. The car you keep seeing everyone else using them. Oh, so if someone else uses it, it's fine, but because I want to use it. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing? You're getting your plumb line down. Yeah, there's that corner mark now. Level. There you go, look at that innovative engineering. What do you mean? Like, you put, you put away with an ear and then I've been pointing so it doesn't look stupid. Yeah. Well, I think this is going to be my first proper brick work since we come back from Leamington. Leamington, yeah. Yeah, it's been nearly two months since I've not laid a brick properly. Yeah. Right. I've been a, I've been a lintel man for the last few weeks. Right, let's get him. Let's get the levels sorted out. So while Dad does that, then I'll finish this mixer off and then we'll get you set up. Uh, Well, it's uh, sensitive. That's our DPC level. If you see, troweling at DPC. Stuff on the trowel. There you go. So that's our DPC level. So we swap down here. Trowel away. And your brickies, buddy. Now there's our level. What the level can we switch off? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, you just measure down to that pencil line now. Yeah, I have to measure it. It's 535. Uh, of course, it's 540. Yeah, it's about 540 now. Okay. So it's slightly low, slightly low better trench watch. Yeah. So awkward. Put you to the uh, mixer. There we go, mixer's ready. And uh, Dad, let's get a start on getting these lintels ready to go in. So, you just been figuring out how to get the levels right and such. Oh, they're going in that way. Um, flat? No. Alright. Yeah, you got there, Alright. Right. work if it's flat. That's true, yeah. Stand corrected. There's a really fat bee patrol in this area. It's bloody flying past my ear. I think we need a new SIM card in a minute. 20 minutes left. As Dad said before, what a place to have a uh, bloody pipe. At least it's better than uh, the Ludlow job. Right, right in the corner. So all things considered, it could have been worse. So if 
far so good with the uh, Marshall Town. Yeah. Long time since I used the Marshall Town. I was going to say, it was back when uh, I first started. Yeah. Same with me. I think I used the Marshall Town just a little bit longer until mine. What? Yeah. Well, customers did. Yeah. I think I bought. I think I bought an 11 inch one, and then we uh, transitioned to the other trials. So there you go. That's the first set of lintels set out. It's like Dad said before, you can't over engineer a foundation. You want to take every. You want to take every step you can to make sure it's uh, secure and strong. Because it's not enabled. We haven't got any blocks really just to do this. No. I guess it's a trench buckle. Yeah. 150. Uh, trouble is, all the trench blocks are buried. Which oh no, we've got spare ones, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to get one more, please? Mm -hmm. I think. I'm thinking ahead of me. Right. I'll give you I'll give you give you over to Dad so we can set you up and then I'll grab this trench block. Yeah, okay, come back. There's our little setup. Spanning our pipe. I'm just gonna. Um, we we haven't got enough of the seven newton block, so I'm just gonna cut this trench block to fit in there. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. With our trusty steel. There we go. Forgot to press play again, but it's dusty anyway. Uh, yeah, that, that's going in that corner now. We can get that set up, and then. Um, get a little corn up and get these lintels in. So yeah, back to time lapse. Two seats of cavity, so yeah. I'm ready when you are. Right, let's do it. One, two, hang on. Yeah, that bit's going to be in the way. Hey? That bit's going to be in the way. Can you just lift this up while it's in? Or do you move the bit over? The bit's got to be pushed right out the way. That's it. side in the trench first. Nice. We're going to just get this side finished up while we've got a line. I can 
something. Yeah, so we'll get the trench thrown in now. Let's get this side ready, and then we'll hop onto the other side then. Then after that, should be just get the bricks in and get the intent set out. So, progress. So, off camera, we've done a little bit of a uh, getting more set out. We managed to just take you over. Managed to get that lintel shoved in a bit more, so that's in well easily 100 mil now. So, that's a uh, peace of mind. So, that's just getting the bond sorted out now, but making a good start. I think we're going to do it overhand and either in a minute or after lunch we'll get the profile set back up, which we've not done for a few months. Right, we're heading for lunch now. It's five past twelve. We're getting there. We've got um, the big lintels in, the big three meter ones there in, bedded in, and the bed's a couple of foot at one end, this end, and then the rest of it, the suspended. So the bedding is the wall. You just see a bit of a bit, a bit of block work underneath there. They're bedded in tight. Then they span across the crap. Even though it's reinforced and plugged into the wall, we're still playing it safe and putting the lintels in. A couple of trench block, all lintels over our drain here, and the profile's up now. So now that's up, it's go, go, go. After dinner, Alex is going to empty that onto the boards, get another mix in. I'm going to a little, little corner up there, both skins, and then get this side running. I think there's another four course of face brick on top of that to get us to DPC, and then we'll get on this side. So um, we're doing okay, we've got here at half seven, always fiddly on day one, especially when you've got four big effing lintels to go in and pockets to knock out, it's, it's just, it's just uh, over complicated but we're getting there, you think an L shape would be a doddle but there you go, yeah, this is our job isn't it? So anyway, we'll have to work on, if we need to work on we'll work on but we need to get up to damp today and that gives us Monday to get it prepped get all the stone levelled out, backfilled and what have you get it all whackered and ready to go we're actually getting mesh in this on this floor which we had trouble getting hold of at a push we might have to just go and put it on the roof of the van so I've measured it, it'll fit on because it's 3.6 by 2 metres so we need 4 sheets so I might just go and get it and stick it on the van if we can't get it delivered so um, we'll leave it there and see if
So, Dad's giving a quick sweep of the uh, footing because it's always important to have a clean footing to build on. Why is that? So your motor sticks to it. Exactly, because if it's dusty, your motor's not going to stick to it properly. So you want to have it nice and cleaned off as smooth as you can. So that way your motor's gripping the concrete there, it's not gripping. That's fine, dusty and dry. There's a no-no. So, that's a little tip for you. Make sure your footings are dust free. Or at least get your dust out of the way when you're laying. Right, I better make this quick because Dad wants his one it wonders back on the radio, but um spin you round. And there's what we've got so far. Just getting one last half mix in. But um as you can tell, got the lintels in, all the lintels in for the foundation. And we're just uh Dad's getting the internal set out now and I'll take you over. So we've marked out where the doors are going, so all we need is a return here. And perfect. Yeah. Return in a full block. Oh, excellent. Now, obviously, we're only returning it and not blocking all the way in because you need your concrete to go up to your brickwork because this is where the door's going. Yeah. So it's got to go right through the door. What's the point of having the brickwork there when there's damp come up through the brickwork? Yeah. Concrete's got to go up to the up to your cold bridging strip. Stop any damp coming through the brickwork. Exactly. So. Not a lot of block left to do on here, and then, because it's getting late, we're just going to get the internal work done. That's the plan. Get them trench blocking, get them bricks in, block in. Get tidy up and get on. Have a nice Easter weekend. So, catch you then.
that is the end of the first day of the footing. And all things considered, I think we've done a pretty good job. Let's show you now. We've uh, started a bit of the backfilling now as well. Dad's started that part over there. So just making it safe. And I've uh, backfilled this part here just to stop any cave-ins. Because if you remember, this goes out to like here. So that's nice and sturdy. So as you can see, we didn't quite finish here, but the block work is set up. So Monday, our job is going to be to... The finished. Yeah, the internals are finished. The internals are finished. Our job on Monday is going to be to get rid of all that stone here, backfill it as best as we can, and mm, we may need more, we'll find out on Monday, but if we do, if we do need more, we'll get the order for Tuesday, and we'll uh, just get that brickwork in, so either way we'll be busy for Monday, and yeah. But for a flat start and all that faff around with lintels and what have you, I think this has went pretty well. Especially our first day back on the trail properly since Leamington, which was two As months usual, ago. All the hard work buried. Yeah, all the hard work been buried, so. Well, uh, we'll catch you on Monday. Hope you have a nice Easter. And yeah, see you on the Monday. <laughs>